This is my solution in my QNIC RS Open Baffle um, speaker for the tweeter. And uh, you see, this is. Um, oh, I will have a look here. Rika Audio QCAP 2 Copper Paper Oil. Yeah. And um, this is best I've heard. Yeah. And uh, but I never tried um, Miflex, and so I decided to this one, yeah, Miflex KPCU zero one. It's also paper uh, paper oil capacitor, and I will try this. It's uh, but you can see. It's huge, okay, and uh, also I will put there my silver, silver capacitor, Russian, Russian silver version. Um, the people who um, my follower <laughs> uh, can can uh, read my comments at the Linton tweak, and um, I, I said to them here, this one is uh, wow, a wonderful step in. Uh, Three-dimensional um, imaging and uh, details. Um, uh, you can never hear music again uh, uh, if you don't have this one in your uh, tweeter uh, circuit. Okay, so I will do it now in my crossover and uh, put it there and um, solder it with uh, Mund of Silver Gold Supreme. And uh, then I will show you the next, the same song. I think after uh, 30 hours, uh, I read about it, uh, 30 hours of burn in, 30 to 50 hours of burn in. It's a long time because, uh, yeah, it's oil and paper and so, uh, yeah, these capa good capacitors need a lot of burn in time. And uh, then this one will open. Yeah, it was, it was the same with this one. And uh, it will open up a little bit and um, these, these uh, people who soldered in uh, this one in their um, crossover and um, um, did not uh, wait for the end of the burn in time <laughs> yeah i'm sorry but um, you have to wait for it it will open up so we will see and i will show it to you bye
to Miflex. This was Rika Audio capacitors. Um, and now I will change the um, tweeter capacitor, one microfarad, uh, to um, Miflex, um, copper, paper, and oil. So Miflex are installed now and fresh, I think half an hour uh, and um, uh, it's no boy in, in time. So uh, I think uh, it's a little bit close, but you can hear the differences uh, very well and um, be aware of uh, it will be loud now uh, because I'm talking from behind of the microphone. Okay, so. And uh, after this uh, music example, I will tell you something what I think about these two capacitors, Rika Audio and Miflex. The first thing I want to say you is where I bought these capacitors. It's uh, Darisus GmbH. It's nearby me here, near Cologne, and uh, they will sell uh, all over the world. And uh, you can order it there. And uh, this is the one I bought. Yeah. And uh, this is the price. You see it online. It's in including tax, and um, yeah, you can order it there. And um, this is um, 
a nice site because you can uh, see there is Janssen Audio or Nishikon Special for Audio and uh, you can go here up and you will find uh, audio components here yeah and uh, you see everything is sorted for audio fans and like me <laughs> or you and you can order it there this is Darisos. I will uh, put it in the description, the link to this site, and uh, you can order there. That's the first step. Now these uh, Bose caps are in the shootout, and this was the first uh, I showed you um, with the song. Uh, it's Rika Audio, and I searched a long time to find uh, this cap, and um, I had contact with the manufacturer and a uh, very nice person, and um, you feel it. It's uh, made with patience and uh, knowledge and uh, everything uh, you hear is done by a man who loves music. Okay, uh, but here too, <laughs> but a little bit better, I have to say. And uh, I say many thanks to both of them. Yeah, it's a long time. I think two years now. I'm uh, my open baffle system uh, sounds very good with this cap. And um, yeah, I recommend it uh, for the Lintons. Uh, this cap here, Audin Audin uh, reference cap. Um, so I want. I decided to uh, order some of them to uh, put them in my um, amplifier, Kinky Studio. And uh, yeah, there were <laughs> some changes on their website and it's difficult to order them. And so I decided, no, uh, if they don't want my money, uh, I have to go anywhere else. And I uh, watched to a site. I will do it uh, in the description. This site is called humblehomemadehifi.com and uh, you can see it here, um, there are capacitor tests and um, this is a guy who's um, testing all capacitors and um, his opinion, he is writing his opinion very detailed to everyone, every single capacitor, you can find it. Look in the description for the link. And um, you can download here um, this. I will do this now. One second. And this is his list. Yeah. And his points for um, quality, sound quality. And um, this is real, really exact. Yeah. And you can watch for prices and watch for the classification and um, I tested this and uh, yeah I heard so much Mundorf caps and Obligato I have, I have uh, Rika Audio here and I have oh, so many Wima, I don't like Wima, you can see it, Wima here oh, is not, not so good, okay. so. Um, but I found there um, the Audin uh, Intertechnic uh, Audin Cap Refer Three Reference, yeah, and you see, and uh, if you know, if you write the prices behind uh, the caps, yeah, for the uh, specific value you need, you will see this is a very good capacitor for its price, okay, and um, and the second one I never heard was the Miflex. I found out it's a very good capacitor here in this description and uh, has a very very good price. And so I ordered it uh, at Darisos GmbH. And um, yeah, that's uh, now the point to test them. And I will tell you something about uh, the sound quality. For a long time this was my favorite capacitor. And uh, this is a, an all-rounder. <laughs> you can put it everywhere for, uh, as a replacement for uh, cheap uh, capacitors in crossovers or something else. And um, every time it's, an, it's a step up. And um, yes, but if you hear it longer and longer, so you think about oh, more colors, a little bit more open. And so I decided to try more of them. So this was the first, this is a standard cap here from Janssen 
and um, this is also you can use it uh, it's not so uh, expensive and so you can use it everywhere you need and uh, this is a fine cap and I um, uh, set set to my followers uh, for replacement on in the Lintons. Yeah, this is a very good capacitor. It's not so big. Yeah, you see the different size difference in size here. <laughs> okay, and uh, this one is uh, what is it? Thirty three microfarad, and this is um, six point eight. <laughs> so you can think about the, the the size. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, this is a uh, entry level and uh, for entry level uh, loudspeaker this is a very good solution to bring them up like the Lintons okay if you need more you can go with this one here yeah or for a much better much better sound uh, my favorite in price and sound is this one Audio cap reference I love this one for a long time and then I had contact to the manufacturer of Rike Audio and I ordered them and uh, tried it in the mid-range and the tweeter range and so I decided to uh, go with them um, to the fair in Hamburg and uh, it was the right decision for a long time. But sometimes you know, the, the <laughs> there's maybe something better and someone is writing in some blogs something about a cap and so I tried it. And somebody wrote, try this. It's near Duland and um, for much less in price. And um, yes, I tried it. And so you, you heard it in the music. And for me in the music, um, this cap is wonderful. But in every aspect, this cap is better. The first thing I thought is separation and depth. And the second thing is color, Real, realis, realistic colors of the instruments. And for me, the most important is space around the instrument. This is much better with this one here. And I have to say, um, nobody will believe me, I think, but it's true. If the tweeter is right with the right cap and um, with no torsion or, or pressure in, in cabling and uh, in the build quality of the tweeter and the right cap, the complete speaker in the full range is a complete different leak. You will reach with only the better capacitor for the tweeter. It's better bass. It's more dynamic. I found here my mid-range. I always thought about my mid-range and I thought, oh, it's a little bit more dynamic. Yeah, you know, this tw tweeter with this one here is a tweeter and the mid-range is more dynamic. And the bass is more refined, more colors in the bass. It's easier to listen, to follow the structure of the music of the bass with better capacitor of the tweeter again yeah and if you use my russian favorites here silver silver glimmer of deutsch silver glimmer i hope um uh, you must have this okay because uh, you never heard your music right without this and um it's special it's special it's um Transients, transients are better and or or no transients. <laughs> I will think you don't think about transients if you use this one here, and uh, especially with horns, yeah. And um, this is I I recommend this in every way, okay. Also for um, power supply, you can use this too. So uh, I have uh, so much. Capacitor tested here. Look at this. Very nice one, but too expensive, I think. And here, this one. Ah, nice mid-range, but the upper upper uh, highs are not so open. It's, uh, it's far away from this one here. This is open, and this is ah, muffled. I think it's the word for this. 
but um, it depends a little bit uh, really on your rig or on your speaker or tweeter. So I use this for shunt or for bypassing uh, this Janssen silver cap, but I don't. I, I, I think this is if you need uh, have this is it is enough for uh, bypass. If you use this, uh, you will change the complete sound, and sometimes you will have an. Uh, Ghosting, ghosting in sound. Yeah, if you if the value is too big of this one, you have ghosting in sound. Imaging is double layering or something like this. Uh, don't do this with too much of uh, capacitor capacitance of the shunt capacitor. Oh, it's really difficult in English. So I showed you all my my things. Not all. Uh, oh, the best one. The best one. This was really expensive, yeah, and it's the biggest one I ever I ever had. But the biggest one of this here is 21 centimeters long and 10 centimeters in diameter. Di diameter, and <laughs> this is much bigger than this one. Okay, but this is the biggest cap, cap I ever used. So this is all from me for now. I hope uh, you can use some of these informations for you. Please write in the comments. I hope I can please write normal and in a fair way. I only want to give my opinion and I only want to give you my advices to use them for yourself. I don't want your money. I don't want to stress somebody <laughs> it's just my opinion and please use it and if you have questions please ask in the comments so everybody can use these informations many thanks please subscribe and uh, see you soon bye